quiet on set. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. So I thought I would pick up the camera today because it is Thursday and we have some exciting new developments in the world of my house. So I thought I'd take you along with me for the day because I'm actually going to the house today, although I'm dressed for work and I am indeed going to work. But Ian, my mum's boyfriend, is going to go up and work on the house today, as he has been a lot of the days. Um, so, because I'm working in the hospital that's like 10 minutes away, I'm going to drop him at the house and then pick him up after. So it means I get to go and see the house and it saves two of us driving the same direction on the M4. So, yeah, that's exciting. Um, I do have a couple of other updates as well, carpets, etc. But... Yeah, I'll tell you all about those later. But for now, I am just going to eat my breakfast because it's like quarter to seven, I think, and we need to leave at seven-ish. So yeah, I'm just going to eat my wee pack my bag ready for work, and I will catch up with you in a bit. So guys, I dropped Ian at the house, and it was looking really busy on the way back. So he was like, oh, I wonder if there's another way. Put it into Google Maps, went like the back road, nine minutes nine minutes from my new house to one of the hospitals I work at twice a week. It takes me like an hour and 10 minutes to get here from my mum's. So yeah, I am so excited to move and be a lot closer. Um, Yeah, that'll be bliss. I wonder what to do with myself. Like I'll be home by, you know, say, well, I finish at half four, say I actually finish on time, which is a miracle. But I'm home by quarter to five. That is so exciting. I'm so excited. I'm going to have to like proper get into cooking, I think, because I'll have a bit more time. That'll be fun. You've seen me do a tiny bit of cooking on this channel, but honestly, I'm not the best cook, which is funny because I'm a dietitian. And a lot of people say to me like, oh, does that mean you're like a really good cook? No. I don't know whether that's just because they think my degree is more kind of cooking and nutrition, whereas it's more kind of healthcare, working in the NHS, working in a hospital, that kind of gear. Um, but it's niche, you know, not a lot of people know what it's about, so I can see the confusion. But yeah, alas, not a great cook. I have my certain dishes that I can make that I'd make for friends. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely be looking to practice a bit more. Now I have the time because I, when I was working in Birmingham, living in Brackley, I used to get back at like, oh my gosh, some days like seven, especially after that. Especially if I had like ballet or choir, then it'd be more eight, nine if I had to stop at the shops. So there was no way I was cooking after that. So I haven't done proper cooking for a really long time. So yeah, that's today's excitement that I'm going to be the next Michelle Rue Jr. And like be really good at cooking. But for now, no cooking this morning. I've had my Weetabix. It is 23 minutes past eight and I start waking up past. So I'm going to walk across the little bridge for that and start my day. Right guys, I'm sure I look significantly more disheveled this morning and that is because it's now quarter to five and I'm back at the house. I just parked on the drive for the first time to see if I could. Smashed it, obviously. Oh, the door is open. I'm just going to come in and see what Ian's been up to today. Have a little look at the house, see what progress we're making. Uh, paintwork is prepped for <gasps> Is it? Maybe up tomorrow and hopefully across the weekend. Oh, exciting. Uh, the fireplace wall I did the other day, that was bright red and it is now ready to paint over, so that's good. She had some shelves up, so we filled the shelves. And then going on upstairs. Same. Same old. Oh, Ian painted the ceilings as well. All right, have a look there. Beautiful. Look upstairs. He said it looks the same, so I'm not expecting any difference, but I might as well go and have a gander. Nice and bright up here on a sunny day. Look at that, like the sun coming in. Love that. This is the back bedroom. Again, he's done the ceilings up here too, but obviously because they're white before, <laughs> you can't really see much of a difference. Bathroom floors come up because we had the carpet guy come to look at flooring the other day. Oh, it's looking nice and shiny in this room. I cleaned the tiles in the last vlog and they are looking really good with the sun on them. Then, this room is, oh, he's taken the door to the air and covered off. And yeah, all prepped. So we're getting there, guys. 
The bit I'm most excited for now is getting colour on the walls. Because obviously it's all like stripped back and neutral now because it's all prepped. And I'm so excited to see the colours I put actually on the walls. and have been for a little while we had dinner which to my horror i'm gonna sound like such a brat now and please know that i am joking but yeah all things in a bowl that i didn't like <laughs> which my mum knows i don't like so green pepper mushrooms rice prawns why are they crunchy i always thought prawns had like little bones in them i have since then they don't have bones in them but why are they that texture do you know what I mean? Like, it's not right. I'm a dietitian. I've got quite a varied diet, but prawns can't get on board with. Rice is fine. It's just, I just find it quite bland. But yeah, my mum did the whole. Are you, are you sure? Are you sure you don't like prawns? Yeah, quite sure. Yeah. Well, this is news to me. I'm 27. I've never liked prawns. But what can you do? You know, you just can't get the staff, can you? Again, obviously joking. Very grateful that my mum has let me live here and still cooking me meals. Like, what, babe? But yeah, I thought I'd check in and fill you in on some other stuff to do with the house. On Tuesday, someone came to measure up for carpets and flooring for the upstairs bathroom. And they gave us a reasonable quote. So we very much said, thank you very much. That would be fantastic. When can you fit it? And it's been fitted on the 2nd of August, which is two weeks tomorrow, which is so soon. That is so exciting. And I think we're going to spend that weekend moving, hopefully the 3rd and the 4th. And then I'm off on annual leave the following week, the week of the 5th. So it's just lined up really nicely because then I can spend my week off kind of getting my furniture the way I want it, figuring out what I need, ordering some new stuff. So yeah, that would be absolutely perfect. I also had someone come today measuring up for blinds for basically the whole house and I'm going to pop in and see them on Saturday and try and pick kind of what I want, pay up and get them booked but I think Ian said it can take like four to six weeks so it might not be kind of straight away when I'm in but it's fine, we'll work something out. Um, so that's blinds, what else, what else, I ordered the sofas in the last vlog so you know about those, no updates with that, um, obviously as I said it could be up to 8 weeks so yeah still waiting on those um, but this weekend we'll be up there much to his dismay he much prefers it when we're not there <laughs> so he can just crack on without me and my mum like trying to be like oh is there anything you can help with but yeah Friday tomorrow so hopefully after that I'll have a bit of time to yeah get started on bits um Ian reckons we should be ready to start painting colours early next week like Monday Tuesday once all the gloss is done and the under whatever's done and the cutting in and whatever and whatever and whatever but I'm so excited I'm so excited to see some colours on those walls so yeah those are all my updates on the house for now I'll keep going with this little vlog see how long it gets see how many updates I've got and we'll go from there but yeah just wanted to do those initial updates of what's been happening kind of throughout the week this evening has been for signing up my bills so i've done water energy asked me some questions about the house so i'm gonna have to do that when i'm at the house with wi-fi the router got delivered today as well but won't be activated until i think next monday so that's fine i've ordered carbon monoxide detectors I've sorted council tax, so yeah, today has been a productive day. My life insurance got sorted earlier as well, and we got the repayment back from the mortgage, so yeah, lots of things ticked off the list. Ooh, guys, it is, what time is it? Oh, it's Friday! Um, I've just got home, so it must be like half six, and I haven't vlogged anything today, but I just noticed my skin and me order has come, so I wanted to unbox this. This isn't sponsored, obviously, I wish. <laughs> that would be amazing. But yeah, I've not used it before. So I've seen loads of people promoting it and honestly, I'm a bit lost when it comes to my skin. So I look really rough, I'm sorry. Full day of work on a really hot day. The office was boiling and I wasn't planning on filming, but yeah. So my skin wise, I've had acne on and off since I was 
13 I want to say. I tried like all the antibiotics, all the creams from the GP. Probably a couple of years ago they put me on Accutane or Isotretinoin. I had to come off it before I finished the full course because it skewed my blood results which is a known effect. That's why they're on two bloods monthly when you're on it. Um, but yeah my skin at the moment is kind of okay. I get like the odd spot. That's not even a spot. That's just a patch of like dry skin. Um, got a little spot for that, but that honestly doesn't bother me, I'm okay with that. Like, it was so bad before, so this is such an improvement anyway, so yeah, I'm quite happy with how my skin looks at the moment. But, your girl's getting older, you know? I'm 28 in a few months, and I'm starting to think I need to take better care of my skin from an ageing perspective. Because of the acne throughout my teens and that, I used horrendous products that like dry out your skin and bleach your skin. And I really haven't done anything to kind of, you know, heal it and keep it looking nice. And now I don't use anything on my skin, no moisturisers, nothing apart from sun cream, eye cream and lip balm. And sometimes makeup, I don't wear makeup to work, I just wear sun cream. And then I put some um, concealer under my eyes, eyebrows and mascara. But that's a treat. So nothing on my skin apart from that. Yeah, I just started feeling like I should take more care of my skin, but not knowing where to start. I've always been quite anxious for skincare because of the history with acne. I wouldn't want to use anything that was going to trigger it. But I did the little quiz on Skin and Me. I sent them my starting pictures, which was horrendous to take. It was just so, I was like, oh, this is, yeah, interesting. But at least I've got a little before so I can compare. Um, and yeah, like I said, I don't know how this is going to go, it's not sponsored, I have only seen of them what other people have done, so I'm intrigued, but hopefully it will just help to kind of, I don't know, just put some good stuff on my skin on my skin, so yeah, let's get it open. So this is what they call the daily doser, which has got your daily dose of skincare in it, I think, and mine is... Obviously it's personalised um, to like what your skin needs. So this is Tretinoin 0.006, Niacinamide 4%, Azelaic, 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 there you go, that'll be it. When I, Azelaic Acid 4%. Um, so it's, you put in kind of what your goals are and what your skin's like at the moment, any history with it, and then it gives you kind of a recommendation. You've even got like a prescriber's details on there as well because it is the active ingredients like that do have to be oh my god it says my name on it <laughs> sorry i didn't even notice oh my god that's so cute it says for emily on it look at that ah that's cute okay fine fine i like it fine <laughs> uh no obviously i haven't used it yet but yeah that whole idea is is this group am i being weak i don't want to break it here we go so the whole idea is you turn it to what dose twist until the click of your daily dose and then it comes out the top um so yeah i'm really excited i'll show you when i use this tonight obviously um i'm not going to see any results immediately but i'll let you know how it goes just using it and because it's my first month they sent me some freebies as well we love a freebie um so i've got what's this Brightening Boost Firming Vitamin C Serum, 15% complex with peptides and to firm and smooth skin. Um, it's got the instructions on that as well. Purifying Prep Clarifying Cleanser, can't speak after work as well. Daily Defense Oil Free Sunscreen, that's SPF 50, and the Soothe Smooth Light Moisturizer. Oh, so they're just little freebies. And then if you like any of them, you can add them to your kind of regular monthly order because this is kind of changed every month depending on what you need for your skin and yeah I don't know I don't know a lot about it to be honest but I'm excited to get stuck in and um yeah I'll let you know what I think I'll show you putting it on later peekaboo see you in the bathroom cupboard as you can tell because I'm just gonna wash my face and put my skin and me serum moisturizer whatever it is so I'm gonna use the purifying prep clarifying cleanser um which like i said is just like a little sample skin with lukewarm water massage gently take the motion then rinse and pat dry for the bit that I need to work out how to use the daily dose that I'm assuming. So twist until the click for your daily dose. 
that doesn't seem like a lot of cream. I suppose it's, oh, it's quite thick. Put some down my neck as well. I think that's what people do. Okay, that was enough to easily cover my whole face. And I do famously have a moon face. So, nice. I can't comment on how it works. It's, you know, feels pretty firming and it's dried pretty quickly, which is nice. It doesn't feel too much like a moisturiser, um, which is good because, like I said before, I've got really oily skin. So, the last thing I want to feel like is like I'm putting more oil on my skin. But yeah, I feel like it looks pretty good. This is day one, so I guess this is pretty good before. Not sure how the lighting is, but yeah i mean all i can do is see how it goes i've bought it now <laughs> i've subscribed now i've bought into it so you better work Well, we're going to uh, Hepworth Blinds in Ponteclean to have a chat with them because they came to measure up on Thursday um, when Ian was there. They took some measurements, but obviously now I need to choose what I'm having and get them ordered. So we're going to the blind shop first, then we're going to uh, pick up some meal deals for lunch and then head to the house. Ian's already there um, doing some work and yeah getting started he's a bit of an early bird so we wanted to get up yet and couldn't wait for us to get out of bed so yeah we're gonna crack on sort the blinds and then head to the house standing in the background but we are back at the house i went to see the people about the blinds who knew there were so many options for blinds who knew not me so yeah i picked what i want for the blinds gone for blackout rollers upstairs then wood venetians in the living room and the kitchen and vertical blinds in the back over the patio door so i'm very excited they're gonna work it all out and get back to us with a quote the start of next week so we haven't ordered them yet obviously we need the quote first then we can decide if we want to go with them um but yeah who would have thought there were so many options for blind it's absolutely mad i was overwhelmed by the venetian verticals or blackouts and then suddenly there were all these different materials and all these different color swatches and like with the wooden blinds we had to pick like the band color as well so yeah, lots to choose, but I'm really happy with the decisions that I made. So yeah, we'll see what happens when the quote comes in. But yeah, I think we're just gonna crack on. There are holes to fill and stuff to sand. So yeah, lots of stuff to be done. Um, no real updates. Ian did the, the gloss the other day. So it's looking fresh and white and beautiful. So all the door frames and um, stuff like that. So we're working with if it's white, it's wet, and we're not touching <laughs> any of the white bits. Um, but yeah, it looks really fresh and lovely. So yeah, let's crack on. Guys, look how pretty this Wi-Fi router is from Vodafone. Oh my gosh, it's lovely. It's not like the black one that I had before. It's a nice like whitey color. Mm, love that. Meal deal lunch. So we've got chicken and chorizo. I've not seen this before. Sounded really nice. Smoky red pepper sauce. And some Thai sweet chicken. Oh my god. progress from today we covered up the horrible baby poo green mum and I covered it up it will need another coat but obviously we need to make wait for that to dry we also fixed some of the holes filled them sanded them the carpet had now made its way into the car most of the rolls of carpet and we're going to go to the tip um there's this wall our skin patch 
There's this wall as well, Mum's running to get out of frame. That was also baby poo green. So yeah, it's we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. Again, needs another coat, but looks good. So yeah, we're gonna go to the tip, drop off some of the carpet, and then I think we need to go to B and Q as well to get a few bits, like a new toilet seat for the downstairs toilet. Um, what else do we need? Like filler, different cork or chalk or something or calc, however it's spelled. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to B and Q and pick up those bits. Okay, okay. Yeah, sorted. Guys, I don't know how Mum and Ian are doing it. I mean, Ian particularly. It is 9:57. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I just went into the living room to say goodnight to them and I, they were like, oh, I'm tired of you. They were, they were like watching a series. I'm exhausted. I can barely breathe. I'm so tired. Um, the hair's looking wild, so apologies. I've just put my skin and me on, so I'm just still looking a bit glowy. But yeah, busy day, busy day. Things are really coming together. I'm super excited about that. Tomorrow is Sunday, but I was having a look at the clips for this vlog and I've rambled quite a bit, <laughs> so it's quite long. So I think what I might do is leave things here for this vlog and then pick up another vlog tomorrow because I'm getting chatty and it's getting long so yeah I'm gonna leave it here. But thanks so much for watching, thanks for subscribing if you have, if you haven't down below you know where it is. Uh, thank you if you've left a lovely comment on any of my videos, I've had some really nice comments from people recently which is so lovely and people being like oh hi I'm watching from like somewhere in New Zealand, someone in Cork, so hi guys if you're watching this vlog too, um, but yeah it's absolutely wild, I'm blown away by your support and that you want to come on this journey with me so thank you so much for watching like i said subscribe down below if you haven't already and pop a like on this video if you enjoyed to let me know that you want to see more in the future and i will see you in my next video bye